Hello, I'm back today with another fashion plate from It Girl Nail Art. Um, this time I'm going to show you It Girl 107, but I also have a surprise to show you that I'm so excited about, and that is the image selector slash plate scraper from uh, It Girl Nail Art. Let me make sure you can see that there. I am so excited about this because, you know, in my video reviews, oftentimes I will pull out my little template here, and you can see it's getting it's getting a little dirty. I use it a lot. It's getting a little old. Uh, and I just have this hole that I have cut out in the shape of my nail and put and I just move it over the plate to you know decide what part of an image I want to stamp and how it's going to look on my nail. Um, and especially for bigger images like this or for the collage style plates, the infinity style plates, um, this is super helpful. But um, as you can see, you know, it, it, piece of paper, it works, but oh my gosh, this is so much cooler. And the reason this is so much cooler is that I kind of have to eyeball it with that. Either that or, or I could cut out a bunch of different holes. But as my nails grow and they're different sizes, I'm always having to eyeball a little bit what exactly works. And with this, I've got all kinds of different sizes, you know, one that's going to fit uh, my thumb, one that's going to fit, you know, my nail, and it looks like it's a little wider, but keep in mind that my nails are curved, so if I kind of go all the way over, that actually is an accurate representation of that nail. So, you know, any given week, whatever my, um, the length of my nails are, or if I decide to go oval instead of square, I can um, use one of these and get a really accurate estimate of what part of the plate I'm going to be able to use. And I'll be able to know, you know, okay, if I'm looking at this part right here, it's going to, I'll be able to get um, this triangle and get this really nice effect. Or if I see if there's enough space for me to get these diagonal lines that way, I can uh, run this over my images and figure out exactly what I'm going to get. And, you know, when I break my nail, I'm going to scooch down and maybe use a different size. Uh, but I don't have to worry so much about eyeballing it um, depending on uh, the sizes and shapes. Now, this is also a scraper, too. And she says that she believes it gives a really clean scrape. So I'm going to demonstrate that for you once. But then I am never, ever going to use this to scrape again because I don't want to get polish all over this. I'm just so excited to have this. This is so awesome. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at the plate. Uh, this, again, is IG-107, and this is her Art Deco-inspired plate. So some of the other plates that she has have uh, an Art Deco image here or there, but this one is dedicated just to that look. And I love the, the geometrics that she pulls out from that era. I love this look. This always looks like fans, and this always looks a little bit like draped fabric to me. And then, of course, the beautiful, intricate geometric line work. I love that you've got this sort of, it's almost like a square medallion kind of look with the background. And here you've got uh, the, the square triangular interlocking look there. This is almost like um, like a scale image, but with an Art Deco diamondy feel. And then this is the fanned flower sort of look, which I love. And then and these two have more of a metalwork feel, beautiful metal, metal work that you'd see like on grates or windows, like Frank Lloyd Wright windows. Oh, so beautiful. And you could do some beautiful uh, lead lighting to get stained glass looks with these, or just even, you know, black over any of your, any color base polish is gonna be beautiful gold over any color base polish is going to be beautiful, silver. I mean, you just can't go wrong with these images. You just, all you need is base polish, throw a, a simple stamp on there, and these are just so beautiful that they do all the work for you. Okay, let's talk about size. These images are right at three quarters of an inch by, by three quarters of an inch, so they're three quarters of an inch square, which should be, you know, plenty of space for you to cover your nail, unless you have extremely super long nails. For this test, I'm going to use Sally Hansen Insta-Dry in Cobalt Blue. I think um, blue is such an Art Deco-y kind of color. Beautiful image transfer. And... I'm going to show you on a nail because off, usually I show it directly on um, a piece of paper, but uh, sometimes it's nice to see how it transfers directly onto the nail. And you can see there that that just transferred beautifully. Okay, now I said I was going to try out this image scraper for you, so uh, let me try that out for you now. OK, 
Okay, here's the key part. Ooh, that was some nice flexibility on that. I like it. And you can see again, beautiful transfer, the beautiful lines. It, the curve of my nails makes this one a little bit hard to see with the, the light. It's beautiful transfer, beautiful pickup. So, so I love this plate. It's again IG107, and I am looking forward to see what beautiful Art Deco masterpieces I can make with it. Okay, I will have the links to everything down below, and thank you for watching.